Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you've been with us before, welcome to the channel if this is your first time. This is Lee Allen Presents. I'm your host for this video. I am Alan. Before we go anywhere, we'd like to ask you to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. You're guaranteed then to know when our next videos go up. It'll be like, hey, you know, we've uploaded this video, that video unboxing, board game, video game, wrestling, whatever it is that you're interested in, you'll get that notification. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for as well. We like to know when you people, uh, when our viewers like uh, content and we need to know what you like and what you don't like so we know what to start doing more of and what to do maybe less of you know so as you've already seen from the title card <clears throat> we are here today to unbox batman forever the 4k ultimate collector steelbook edition um this is not out for a few days yet but because of the easter bank holidays it has actually arrived early which i'm very happy about and i'm happy to be able to show you guys this before the actual technical launch day on monday so because of the cellophane i'm just going to quickly slice into this with good old mr slice um, just to stop the glare from the lights because it can be quite jarring and I don't want to overstimulate anyone's neural senses with the lights there. I'm just going to check that off the camera view over there. So, we previously unboxed the uh, Batman and Batman Returns and during those videos, that was part of our New Year New Batman in January. Um, as part of those, I was I was basically saying I hope that they do um, the other ones, and I have got Batman and Robin, but that'll be the next video that uploads. We'll be uploading that tomorrow, just so you know, so keep an eye out for that one. So, again, the subscribing to that notification bell, you'll know exactly when it goes up. So here's the three of them thus far in a row, nicely there. I haven't obviously looked at Batman forever yet, but this is the previous two, the Batman and Batman Returns, so those from 1989 and 1992. I think Batman Forever is 95, if I remember correctly. Um, for me personally, Batman Forever is one of my favourites, just probably because I'm a big to Jim Carrey fan, and I, I rather enjoy Tommy Lee Jones' portrayal as Two Face as well. So, just I'm gonna pull the J card off first, um, just to show the entire case properly. I always hate this sticky stuff because it can sometimes wreck the card stock of the box itself. There it goes. <clears throat> cool. So, first things first. There's the J card there, so it's got that nice sort of green, shows all the contents. We're not going to linger too far on that because you'll be showing the contents in a second from the actual box itself. But there's the J card there. I'm just going to pop that down there. And then we've got the actual box. So oh, there's that a bit of, it's just a bit of something on the case that wiped off nicely. Okay, that's fine. So much like the previous uh, iterations of these sets, you've got this is kind of like a, a gloss kind of finish to that uh, on the matte black. Um, I did find these as stickers. I'll be peeling the age pro uh, age um, things on off there. Got the spine there. It's a little bit of trauma on the edge there, but that can't be helped considering it's being posted. The back again. So you've got um, uh, Val Kilmer as Batman in this one. There's a bit of dust or something on the back from the static from the cling. Um, but again, everything, the bat symbol, all the green stuff, it's all nicely sort of shiny. And you can see the, it's like a blueprint of the Batmobile. You can make out the bit of the, the wing there and a part of the wheel out the top. And then the other edge then, we've got this nice sleek, plain black with just the Batman Forever um, writing on there. So let's pull this open and let's have a look, shall we? So again, like the the uh, the cover, they kind of alternate uh, with the front. So the shiny bits on this uh, is in green. On this, the greens on the outside and the shadow is the inside, much like the Batman and Batman Forever, uh, Batman Returns, and the Dark Knight tr trilogy. So then going to the back, we've got the Riddler, who's obviously Jim Carrey, and we got Tommy Lee Jones as Two Face. That's really cool. I like that. Again, the one criticism I had, and it was the same with the Batman and Batman Returns and the Dark Knight Trilogy, I feel that putting this text on there kind of really distract, just distracts from there. It takes away from it. It kind of draws the focus as you're looking at it. I don't feel that needed to be on there, but a design choice was made, and they followed through with it. So, And then opening it up, we've got, I can see half the Batman wheel already. So we've got the green discs on the inside. So we've got the 4K Ultra HD disc there. We've got the standard Blu-ray disc there. Oh, that's a bit tough to get out. Come on, there it goes. And then we've got the Batmobile there. Not the best looking image of the Batmobile. Um, I think they probably could have used a bit more of a dynamic shot as opposed to just a, prof uh, a side profile. Um, that 
kind of looks like it might actually be CG or art as well. It's not an actual photograph. That's a bit of a shame. Um, I do quite like the aesthetic of this one, even though it glows like uh, like bright colors. I do quite like the the style and the sleekness of this Batmobile. Okay, so that was the discs with the steel buck. Let's put those back in that. And then that's just it's a nice case. I do like these steel book cases. I'm glad I did chip in for these when they start coming out. Um, and then. So going back to that, so we've got the complete opposite. So the logo is in green on the outer box and it's in black on the inner box. And then you can see also the details of the Batmobile, the side profile there. On the back is just the Batmobile profiles. So just the sort of the blueprints. Let's open this up. This feels quite heavy. I can't remember how heavy the other ones were, if I'm honest. Let's open this up and have a look. And I've got Rags fur on me. Just bear me a second. Let's get that off. Thanks, Rags. Rags contributing to our videos, even when he's not contributing to our videos. Um, <laughs> so we've got these really good quality art prints, which we've seen in all the other ones as well. They have got a bit of sort of factory made uh, dust on it, so I'm just going to brush that top one off. So we've got a uh, profile shot of our Kilmer. Hopefully the lights aren't glaring too much off these. On the back, there's generally nothing on the back. Uh, so promo shot of Jim Carrey's The Riddler, and that's the release date of the movie when it first came out. Chris O'Donnell as Robin. With the with the bat nipples, Val Kilmer as Batman. No Tommy Lee Jones. Okay, what? Okay, um, so the Batmobile tearing out of the Batcave with some nice uh, fire behind him. Him it. Val Kilmer and a uh, uh, Nicole Kidman. Kidman. Can think of her name there for a second. That's the shot you'll always see. That I, I quite. I, I do quite like that bat suit, but I think the colour's just a bit off. Um, I do like the aesthetic of that, but the bat nipple on Robin is a bit weird. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones and Jim Carrey. That's Riddler and Two-Face. Why do you get so much dust? Oh, no, that's part of the print, is it? Ah, I think it's an imperfection. Oh, no, there it goes. It was a bit of bit of marking or something. So double check. Some of these do have back prints, so there we go. So Chris O'Donnell and Val Kilmer. Uh, sugar and Spice with Two-Face. Um, she always reminds me of um, uh, Bull Meccano from WWF in the day. With the hairstyle and the makeup. Or even Luna Vachon. Um, yeah, and then obviously Drew Barrymore uh, is, is Sugar. Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Chris O'Donnell. I do quite like the black and white prints. The black and white prints really are quite artistic. I quite like that. Jim Carrey being his wacky self. Fantastic actor. I think he's underrated. And yeah, so there's there's no... I'm surprised by that. There's no Two-Face. Um, I don't understand that one. On the promo shots. Um, again, a choice was made. <laughs> by, by the people making it. And then we've got the poster. So it's a double-sided poster. On one side, we've got the theatrical poster. So it's got the general, that's the one you would have seen everywhere. Pretty sure they used that for a lot of the DVD cases as well. And the video cases when it first came out. And on the opposite side is like the teaser poster. So with the, with the Batman symbol with uh, the, the question mark around it, which is really cool. And then we've got the art book. So again, like the steel book, complete uh it's like they've taken this they punched it out and they've used the print on this that's the kind of aesthetic they're going for and i can't i do like that that's really nice on the back so that's quite simple it's quite easy it's just the bat symbol with the question mark around it again that works to a really good effect and inside we'll just flip through this quickly you've just got some really good quality and again like i said with the previous ones the book quality the pages are really thick they're not going to just sort of break off really easy or tear or rip um it's really good quality thick paper stock almost like photograph stock it's kind of close to card as well thinking about it um some sort of statue of liberty with gotham written in the head and there's the batmobile so that is such a sexy looking car look at that beautiful And there we go. And there's the contents of this particular box. So if you haven't already seen the previous unboxings where I did Batman, Batman Returns, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises and 
Batman Begins, I think of the last one, for a second. Um, they will be put in a playlist, um, which we'll put a link to somewhere around here. Um, it was part of our New Year, New Batman um, playlist. Um, one thing I will just... I'll, I'll do that in the next one, actually. I'll put all four of them side by side and show you all together. So, um, yeah, that was Batman Forever. Let me pop that there. Thank you for watching, as always. Um, this, these are quite short unboxings, so it's nice and easy to digest for all of our viewers. Um, I, I do find this a very underrated film, so hopefully someone will agree with me out there. Um, thanks for watching, as always. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. You're guaranteed known to know when the next part of this series goes up, Batman and Robin. As I said, that will be up tomorrow at some point. Happy Easter. This is our Easter present to everyone, regardless of whether you celebrate Easter or not. Just have a fun bank holiday and have fun with Batman's related stuff. Um, don't forget to like the content as well. Hit that like button. We'd like to know that people are liking our content. Um, last thing as well, in the description down below, we do have a link tree. So check us out on our social medias. Reach out to us. Is there something you want to request us to do? Let us know. Just just reach out to us. We're friendly. We're approachable. We're trying to reply to every single message that we get. Um, sometimes we might take a bit longer if we're a bit busy or if we don't get the notification for the message itself. So thank you for watching. And just keep on doing those riddle books until the next time the video, the next video comes out. Thanks for watching.